Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about a very interesting topic that is food preservation. Food preservation is a very important process as we know that many countries have the scarcity and all over the world there is an increasing need for food. Since food when prepared or cooked has very short shelf life. So we know how exactly to preserve food. We know that it is processing of food to prevent their spoilage and also to retain their nutritive value for a long time. There are different methods of food preservation and since ages we have traditionally been preserving food such as pickles, fishes, vegetables, meat, milk, fruits and so on. Have you ever tried to find out how are they preserved? The first method that we are going to discuss is preservation by oil and vinegar. Bacteria cannot survive in oil and vinegar rich environment. Thus, this method can be used in storage of pickles as bacteria cannot thrive. Sometimes it is also used for storing vegetables, fruits, fishes and meat. Another method in this category is by heat and cold treatment. For example, you must have seen your mother boiling milk before it is stored or used. Have you ever wondered why do they do so? Similarly, we also store food, vegetable, fruits in refrigerator, right? But why? Because boiling kills microorganisms and similarly low temperature or freezing does not allow their growth too. Thus, it is indeed an effective way of preservation. Now, to be more specific, I would also like to add that minus 18 degrees Celsius or below stops bacterial growth. As temperature rises, the bacteria becomes active and multiply. Thus, this results in spoilage of food. Now, do you think that these are the only methods by which food can be preserved? No, absolutely not. There can be many such methods like canning. In canning, Food can be preserved for a long time, but the flavor gets affected. In this method, food is heated to high temperature to kill the microbes and spores. Then the food is sealed in cans or other airtight containers. Next method can be Drying. Have you heard of drying food items? What do we do here? Here, the water is removed from the food so that microbes die as they cannot live without water. This method can be used to dry vegetables, fruit and some meats. Another interesting method is by providing 
aseptic condition. What exactly do we do here is preserve the food in sterilized condition and thus packing them in sterilized container. This is called aseptic packaging. For example, milk can be stored in this way for about 6 months without refrigeration. Have you heard of pasteurization? Yes, it is also a method used for packing milk. In this, we heat milk to about some 63 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes or it can be 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds but then rapidly cool to 10 degrees Celsius. Now, you may be wondering what is the purpose of doing all this? So, let me tell you that this all helps in killing the bacteria which causes diseases. The milk is then stored in sterilized bottles and sealed. So, these were some of the methods that we have discussed today which can be adopted to prevent spoilage of food. After knowing all this, let us know how the preservation of food helps us. The first point is preservation of food reduces food wastage and also it increases the storage period. Thus, food can be consumed later also. The second point is Food preservation also helps to transport food to distant places, especially in cases of emergency. Food preservation also helps in storing food for seasons when they are not available or if there is a shortage for food. So, that's all for today. See you in the next session. Thank you.